Hey guys, what's up? It's Faith. So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So yeah, what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be talking about what happened in band yesterday. So yeah, technically at school, we were, all the band kids were at band and stuff. So yeah, we were practicing our songs for the concert. And our band teacher, Mr. Schmidt, technically said that, um, I think he said trombones, but I'm not sure. But he said trumpets and baritones but I think that's what he mostly said Ch trumpets and um, baritones that you can give those instruments a bath and we were all like huh so yeah I didn't really kn knew that until he said it so yeah so technically yeah like yesterday like after school, I technically like looked up like how you give your um your brass instrument, I guess, like your bar like your baritone and I think your trombone and your trumpet, how you can give them a bath. So yeah. I'm gonna um hold on, I'm gonna try to figure this out. Okay, um so yeah, let me. So yeah, technically. So technically, I'm gonna put this back. So like um, like as you you can see like where it says the bathing the instrument and stuff. That's how you like uh, like you can do this to f you can t you can you can give your French horn a bath too, but. I read all of this. You guys can pause the video if you guys want to read it. So, yeah, I'm going to go all the way down. So, yeah, hopefully you guys catched that and you guys can read that. So, you know how to give your instrument a bath. So, yeah. So, yeah, technically, if you guys didn't want to read that, technically, um, what I read of how you, you give your, your trombone, trumpet, your baritone, and your French horn a bath, what I technically read is that you have to clean the valves and stuff that are in there. And I think you um, clean the whole instrument too, but I'm not sure. But I did read all of this. But here, I'm going to read the materials that you need. And it says, make sure you have the following items before beginning. Polishing cloth, drying rag, valve, slide oil, slide grease. We use petroleum jelly, mouthpiece brush, snake brush, valve brush. Trumpet only, cloth, towels, not shown. So anyway, if you want to give your trumpet a bath, it technically says that you have to have a valve brush. Like, I'm not sure what that really is, but anyway, those are the materials I guess you need because I went on this website and just looked it up what it said. So yeah, <laughs> you guys see my mouse, what the heck. But anyway, all you have to do is... Uh, you have to um like take apart your instrument and then like your your trumpet, your trombone, your baritone and your french horn if you if you ever play a french horn. So yeah, you have to like take it apart and um technically you just and it like it says use a sheet of paper to label each slide and keep these slides separate while cleaning so yeah I guess you like get these pa pieces of paper and you have to like separ separate the parts that you like giving the instrument a bath with so yeah and so it also says that you that you have to fill a bathtub with warm water and and you have to have a one fourth cup of mild hand soap. So yeah, and it says place the dissembled parts in the water on top 
of towels or rags so the instrument does not get scratched. So, yeah, you guys might get that, but... And it says, allow your instrument to soak for 20 to 30 minutes. But I guess that's kind of like really long for an instrument to soak like that. But anyways, it's just weird. But, you know, then it says you have to use the snake brush or a valve brush. Then just scrub inside all of the tubbing, like all inside the instrument and stuff. And then you have to rinse the your instrument when you're like when you're done you have to rinse your instrument with soapy dirty water so yeah and then technically then it says you have to insert a thing of slide grease or petroleum jelly you could say but um Sammy's making a whole bunch of noise my cat but sorry anyway but you have to wait till it's dry, and then when you, when the instrument is done drying, all you have to technically do is that you have to test your instrument, make sure it works. And, but the last part it says about testing your instrument it says, play test your instrument and empty any excess water with the water keys. Trumpets will not be playable if the valves were reassembled in the wrong order or not aligned in the valves casings. But I don't really get what that means for the trumpets, but I guess it says the trumpets, if the keys are like in wrong order or something, but technically if they're wrong order, you can't play it, but I'm not really sure about that. So, yeah, so technically you can read more about it, but, and, oh my god, cat, keeps making noise, but anyway, that's, so pretty much what I think about all of that is like, maybe that's good for your instrument, so, like, if you forget to, like, clean it, like a cotton swab or whatever the heck it is that you clean it with, if you... OMG! But anyway, I think it's good to clean your instrument because you can... You can, um... So you don't have to clean it with a cotton swab or whatever you clean it with. I think it's good to have it have it soak in a bath for like a long time because I think just that just makes it more cleaner instead of just putting cork grease or whatever grease you put on your instrument lately so yeah so technically that's this is what the whole video is about so yeah comment down below if if you think it's a good idea to to wash your instrument so you can have it more cleaner. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys when I upload another video on this YouTube thing. Okay guys, see you guys later. Bye, peace. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay guys, see you guys later. Bye.